Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to be making a little bit of a crazy birds of a feather watercolor card using the stamp set from Heffy Doodle called Wingman. It has a couple of birds in it, it has a few perches for them and some fun sentiments. And it's a fun stamp set to work with in a bunch of different ways. I'm gonna to try to put all the stamps on one card, well, most of the stamps on one card, and all the birds are gonna be trying to get onto one perch. And this first bird is the frontmost bird. And so I stamped him first and then masked him out. So stamping onto some masking paper and trimming it out. Then I added all the other birds because only one of them touched, but they, they're two birds that are also going to be flying in front of or sitting in front of the trapeze. And I don't know if it's called a trapeze. You bird people can tell me what the name is for that thing, but I'm gonna call it a trapeze. So since they were all masked out, now they look like they are in front of the trapeze that they're sitting on. So there you go for the masking. Then the watercoloring begins. I did add the birds of a feather stick together sentiment onto it. And that is what inspired the coloring of this card. So the whole idea was these birds flying to try to gather onto one trapeze together, which would be kind of hilarious to see if they all actually make it on there because somebody's going to bump somebody off. But I was thinking about this whole card as me and my friends and, and just picturing it that way because there's some who arrive early and they're perched and ready to go. Then there's some of us who arrive later and sometimes we arrive in a, a state of disarray, shall we say? And when you see me arrive at my stamp group, you usually know I'm one of the later ones that arrives and I'm often in a bit of a state of disarray. So there you go. But I did decide to paint them all so that they were the same-ish colors. So I'm kind of doing a monochromatic card, not completely, but kind of monochromatic. But I'm using a couple different yellows that are in my palette. And I'll also be adding a couple other colors along the way. You could do something like this, making them monochromatic, by just using, say, a new gamboge or a permanent yellow deep. And the first layer you would put in very, very watered down co color because both of those go to a very, very pale yellow and then they get to a creamier, more orangey color as you get thicker paint or more layers of paint. But I decided to just use all my yellows and that's the Hansa Yellow Light, the permanent yellow deep, and a little bit of new gamboge. It's just using a bunch of those to color everything. And the reason that all the birds are the same, even though my friends and I aren't all the same, is that they are birds of a feather. And so they all needed to have the same color feathers. But notice that the birds are not the same. They are different. Some of them have eye patches, one of them doesn't. The eye patches are different on each bird. And I thought that kind of is like me and my friends. We are the same, but we're different. There's distinctiveness to all of us, but we all share a lot of things in common. And in this particular case, the commonness is all of that beautiful yellow. So I thought it would be a, a good representation of me and some of my friends. And I did use that, that brush to paint that little tiny uh, string. And that is a super tiny brush. I think it was a number four. And the rest of this I'm using a number eight for because there's just small areas and I wanted to make sure I get that in there. I normally use a number eight or number 12 of the silver brush, the black velvet line. They point really, really nicely and love how they do that. So now we've got the birds painted and I'm gonna add some richness of color to a lot of the areas now. So I can add a little bit of a transparent pure orange to some of this because I wanted to add a little more difference for some of the birds, give them a little bit of dimension and adding the color in the darkest areas and then just moving it around with a dryish brush. And dryish means I've rinsed it so it's clean, I'm not adding color, but I can add just, an, it, just enough dampness to it that there's I can work with the edges and I can kind of blend them out just like that. And that kind of helps to even out the edges and that sort of thing. And with most watercolors, you just want to keep an eye on it as it dries to make sure no hard edges appear that you weren't expecting. So now that um, I'm getting all these birds done, what I was what was running through my mind was that there is not enough feathers, not enough chaos 
if I am that one at the top who's flying in to my stamp group at the very end of the day, or not the end of the day, but I'm the last one in, there's usually more chaos than that. So I thought I'm going to make a cloud of feathers and chaos behind. So I put down a very light coat of a very pale yellow and then added some edges to it so it looks like more, fl more feathers flying all over the place. And this card may have been better without all this in the long run, but when you know the story, it kind of makes more sense. <laughs> Me and my, my last minute chaos. And then add more little feathers here and there. It started looking kind of like a yellow tree. So this would be one way to make a tree. So I started trying to add more yellow, darker yellow feather shapes and more little bits and pieces flying all over the place. Then I started dabbing color off because I thought, you know, I think I went a little too far with that. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes we go a little further than we ought. Maybe I should have stopped before I added that on there, but it certainly makes it a much more distinctive bunch of stuff flying around, doesn't it? So I'm adding more color onto my little feathers, and then I thought I'm just gonna make it more visible that these are feathers by just adding motion lines around the birds as well as just a few general lines. I could have stamped more feathers in there. I didn't want to do that. So just adding a few lines with a pen seemed to convey that for me. So there we go. My crazy yellow card for the day. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please follow along on Instagram and Facebook as I continue my daily posts and join the challenge if you wish as well. And I will see you again in a couple of days with a new video. Thank you much. Bye-bye.